So the book we've got now is called Africa's Big Three. And this is a fact book. So sometimes we read fiction books, which are made up stories. And then sometimes we read true stories that are really happening. And those are called fact and non-fiction book. And that's what we're reading here. So Africa's big three. And it's going to be about three animals that live in Africa, who are huge animals. We've got an elephant, rhinoceros, and a hippo. So that's a picture there, the orangey picture of the savannah, which is the plain in Africa where they live. The African savannah is made up of grassland and some woodland, and it's home to three of the largest animals on the earth, elephants, rhinos and hippos. Elephants are the biggest. Hippos are smaller than elephants and live on the banks of rivers and lakes. And rhinos are also smaller than elephants and they can be as big as trucks. So elephants need, elephants are very, very peaceful animals, but they need a lot of food and water. And they eat grass and leaves all day and during the night as well. And an elephant can eat over 200 kilos of food a day. That's more weight than a person. And it can drink up to 225 litres of water a day. So if you think your water bottles at school are maybe, you'd need two of those for one litre, you'd have to drink nearly 500 of your water bottles at school to drink as much as an elephant in a day. An elephant's tusks are teeth which grow through the elephant's life and they're made of ivory. You can just see them here, they come out there. An elephant's trunk has 15,000 muscles and it's strong enough to pull down a small tree, but it can also pick up tiny fruit. So you can see that its skin is very tough. And there's his trunk and he's picking up his dinner there. Elephants live in groups called herds. Male elephants are called bulls and females are called cows. Full-grown elephants don't have many enemies as they are so big and they're so strong. However, a lion or a hyena may sometimes attack if a young elephant is sick or an older elephant is sick as well. So if it's a bit weak and it's not quite as strong as the others, a lion might actually try and make it its dinner, essentially. Elephants live for 60 to 70 years and the females stay with their family group all their lives. Baby elephants are called calves and need their mothers to look after them. But all the elephants in the group help bring up the young ones. So they've got massive families and they all help to look after each other. And you can see this tiny baby here is walking along. That might be his mum just here. Male elephants leave the group when they are between 10 and 15 years old and then they wander around often with other males looking for a new group to be part of. <clears throat> yeah, here's a picture of a rhinoceros look. African rhinos have two horns on their heads and these are made of the same kind of material as our fingernails. Rhinos have bad eyesight and they look quite clumsy, but a few animals would dare to attack them. They have excellent hearing and they can be bad tempered. So even though they're a little bit clumsy and they can't see very well at all, they've got very bad sight, nothing really would attack them because they can be really, really cross. And that, that big spiky horn on his nose really doesn't look very friendly, does it? A rhino can run faster than a human and it can also dodge and turn very quickly. There are two kinds of African rhino, the white rhino and the black rhino, and both kinds live alone or in very small groups. And they're fully grown at five to seven years old and they can live until they're about 40. The white rhino isn't white at all, it's got a white upper lip. It's just here, you can see, let me put the, you can see that little bit of a lip just here. So the word white should really be wide. And then there's a wide up and the painted up lip just there. Rhinos usually have one baby called a calf. Rhino mothers look after their calves for several years. So look there, it's a baby. And there's mum. And now, look who's that swimming in there. A hippopotamus. 
The name hippopotamus means river horse. Hippos like to spend most of the day in the water and they breathe air but they can walk underwater on the riverbed for several minutes. A hippo's skin must stay moist and damp and it can get sunburnt if he's out of the water. And they don't have cream like we have so they have to be really careful and stay in the water. Hippos come out of the water at night, obviously then it's not sunny, they won't get sunburnt. And then they eat grass just like cows. Hippos eat about 45 kilos of food a night and they don't need any more because they're resting quietly all day. So elephants move around all the time so they need a lot of food and hippos are quite still so they don't need as much food. Hippos can run fast just like rhinos. See that hippo really close there. And they will attack if they are in danger. A hippo feels the safest in the water. A hippo can open its mouth wider than any other mammal and it has huge teeth, also called tusks, and a hippo can bite a small boat in half. So you can see that if a boat got in there, it would be able to break it in half. That's a family group of hippos. Hippos live in groups of 10, between 10 and 20 females with their babies and they're guarded by one powerful male called a bull. Mother hippos have one baby called a calf and they look after it until it's about five to eight years old. Hippos can live for up to 35 years. So you can see there the baby hippo next to his mum. And then down here they're having a big cuddle. She's quite happy this mummy hippo there, doesn't she? People and the big three. So this is how we are with three big animals in Africa. People are the worst enemies of hippos, elephants and rhinos. In the savannah where the big three live, it's shrinking and people farm the land and they build their homes on it, which means there's not enough room for the animals to live on it. People kill elephants for their ivory tusks and they kill hippos for their meat and oil and rhinos for their horns. And today, black rhinos are really rare. And so these elephant tusks here are being burned to stop people from selling them. So to try and stop people doing it, they've captured these tusks and they're not going to sell them. They're going to burn them because they just want people to stop killing the elephants. Game wardens try to stop the hunters, but many animals are still killed. And we need to protect Africa's big three animals before they're all gone. So there we go.